It's almost 2023 and finding yourself a tech job shouldn't be that hard considering how much information technology has evolved and the vast range of opportunities that it provides. However, I must say our resumes on the other hand have not evolved to properly describe ourselves in the tech community. For example, look at this basic resume. I'm not saying it's bad, it's good, but how is this piece of paper or this PDF supposed to show a true representation of who you actually are as a developer? I mean, obviously there are platforms like LinkedIn that allow you to showcase your skin set, goals, etc. But look at this LinkedIn profile of a developer. How do you justify your tech stack being put in the same category as soft skills or time management? What I mean to say is that you need to have a strong public presence to showcase who you really are. And to do that, you need a portfolio or a front page of yourself in the tech community. If you want one that is free and connected directly into a tech network, I recommend Showcase, who are also the sponsors of this video. Let me introduce you to Showcase. Showcase is a network built for coders to connect with each other, build and contribute to communities, and ultimately get hired. There are many features that Showcase offers that no other platform does, and all of these features are incredibly helpful if you're looking to get a job in the tech industry. And the best part about it is that it's available for absolutely free of cost. So in this video, I'm gonna take you on a walkthrough of this amazing platform and show you how it can help you secure a tech job. So let's go ahead and check it out. Well, before actually signing up on Showcase, let me show you one of the profiles on Showcase. You can see here, this is one of the profile. It is so elegant. First of all, there is an about me that you can write and describe yourselves in few sentences. And then you can also set different tags here so that the hiring companies can get a quick overview of you by just looking at your profile. And if you scroll down, obviously there's an about page where you can elaborate about yourself. And then there is shows where you can basically write blog posts, create videos and publish different kinds of content on your showcase profile. And then there is series where you can organize different content that you have posted. There is threads if you want to communicate with other developers or showcase and learn new stuff, all that kinds of stuff. So there are a lot of features that showcase offers and we are going to go deep into that. But before that, let's actually look at this front page. You can see there is a front page that is displayed here. So if I click on visit here, it's going to take me to that URL and look at that. This is what you can call a front page. It's literally your front page in the tech community. So you can just send this front page to anyone, to, to any company that is you know, looking to hire you and everything about you, all your experiences, the tech stack that you are uh, familiar with, your skills, etc. everything can be filled here. So you can see there's an about me, there's a tech stack, you can add as many um, frameworks that you are excelling in, all that stuff. And obviously you can even add your uh, previous positions here. You can even include your famous open source repositories that may attract companies. Oh, and obviously you can also add your uh, social icons, your badges on all these different kinds of stuff. So if you also want a PDF format of your resume 2.0, you can come back to your profile here and click on view resume. And that's going to generate a PDF for you where everything is mentioned all the experience you've had all the tech stack that you're familiar with your repositories your uh, references and also the different tech related content that you posted on showcase.com so it's literally an upgraded version of your normal resume and that's why it is called resume 2.0 which is cool right so anyways let me create my own profile on showcase and let's see what different features that it offers so I'm going to go to showcase.com and click on sign up. Okay, there are three options. Continue with GitHub, with Gmail or with email. I'll just click on continue with email, enter my email here. So I get to choose a username. Let me choose a username like Tejaswarup if that is available. Uh, display name Tejaswarup. Location is India. And I also get to choose a one liner about myself. So I'll just write something that will just describe me in one line or one sentence. Uh, something like a cyber security enthusiast, something like that. That's awesome. I'm going to click on get started now. Okay. So here you get two options. One is to connect with developers and the community. And the second one is if you're trying to find a job. 
So I'm going to choose the second option. I'm looking for work, click on next. So here is where you get to fill your profile. So the first thing is to obviously set a profile picture because without a profile picture, it just doesn't look professional enough. Okay, that's good. Click on save changes. And then I also get to add an about section which I can write in Markdown format. All right, so I've written some basic Markdown explaining or elaborating about myself. Let's preview it. So I'm just introducing myself and also providing some links uh, to check out my work and all that stuff. That looks good. I'm gonna click on save. And then I also get to add a text tag that I'm familiar with so that the hiring companies can um, look at my profile and get to know what text tags I am familiar with and if it's in their requirements or not. So I'm gonna click on add text stack. So I'm gonna, for example, search for uh, Django, Django framework, I'm gonna choose Django there and Node.js, uh, Python. Oh, and also one more thing, you can even set your experience for each particular text stack. You can click on set experience here and there are different levels of experience. So you can choose whatever experience is suited for that particular text tag and if you also want to feature some particular text tags on your profile you can click on this star icon here and that will be featured on your profile all right so i've added some text tags i have featured some of them and i can also change them whenever i want for example if i learn something new i can come over here come back to this page and add a new skill to my profile so for now i'm happy with this i'm gonna click on close and you can see all of those are added to my profile the next section is to add your previous work experiences you can click on add positions here okay so i have added a little bit about my previous work experience as an intern at an mnc so i'm gonna click on save there so finally you can also add your credentials like if you have completed a course uh, from Coursera, for example, you can add that uh, course details and all of that stuff here, but it's not mandatory. And obviously you get to decide what gets to be added or what gets to be shown on your resume. So you can ignore any of these sections you like as you seem fit. And once you're done with them, you can also add some areas of interest, some fields that you're interested in. So I'm gonna click on that. And here are some of the suggested tags. Uh, and I'm going to choose some web developer, security engineer, cryptography, finally click on update and that's it. Now I have like uh, configured my profile. I have chosen how it's going to look like. I can click on next. And in this screen, you can set the work preferences to find the jobs that best suit your particular profile. Click on next. What type of job are you looking for? You can choose the type of job that you're looking for. Click on next again. And then it asks you the kind of role that you are looking for, that you are interested in. So you can choose uh, different categories here, front end, back end, full stack, machine learning. And now is the crucial part. You need to choose the preferred time zone that works for you. The time zone in which you are willing to work. I'm just going to choose Indian time zone. But if you are willing to work in multiple time zones, you can even add multiple time zones here or if you want to specify that you are able to work in any given time zone you can check this box that says i can work in any time zone click on next and this is the part where it kind of asks you different questions so that it gets to know more about your work preferences and find the right jobs for you so you can just go ahead and answer these questions they are like multiple choice questions choose an option and click on next all right so finally it's going to give you an overview of the details that you have filled on showcase um, you can always update any of these preferences by going to your settings. So whenever you, you know, feel the need to change anything that you have added, you can just go back to your settings and update any of it. So if I click on see jobs here, um, it's going to automatically load up and show me the jobs according to my profile that I just filled. So you can open any of the job offering here and you'll find all the details about the job what they're expecting from you and all that stuff and if you want to apply for it you can just click on apply now and it's going to take you to an external site where you can apply to this particular job now unfortunately applying internally through showcase is not available at this moment but i've spoken to the team at showcase and they're working on it and it's going to come really soon probably in a few more days you will also be able to apply to jobs internally from within showcase itself which is awesome right and for some reason you don't like the job listings on your dashboard you can always use these filters here for example you can choose a particular position that you're interested in uh i'll just back end for example and then you can also choose a role type if you're looking for an internship you can also search for internships right there um 
unfortunately there are no internships found so let's try to look for a full-time job and there you go so you can also choose the tech stack you can choose remote if you want to work remotely or you can choose any country i'm going to choose remote here and also you can set the salary that you are expecting uh, from this job so you can just uh, scroll this slider to set the uh, amount of salary that you're expecting and it's going to filter the jobs according to your uh, search it's an awesome way of narrowing down your search to look at exactly what you are looking for right coming back to the profile you can just click on this drop down icon and click on your profile picture and that's going to take you to your profile and you can see over here it automatically generates your own front page which is by default located at your username followed by dot showcase.com so if you just click on visit uh, it's going to take you to that particular subdomain tejasvarup.showcase.com in my case and this is my front page my portfolio in the tech community i can basically send this to anyone if they ask about my credentials right so one more thing that is really cool about showcase is that you can even customize your uh, front page domain you don't have to host it on you know subdomain of showcase.com if you have a domain for yourself uh, you can just host it on your own domain and i'm going to show you how so if you come to your showcase settings you'll find an option that says custom domain so just click on it you can just enter the full path of your custom domain so for example i own a domain uh, that goes like tejaswaroop.com uh, but there is already one site that is being hosted on it so i want my front page from showcase to be hosted on resume.tejaswaroop.com so just enter that click on save and it gives you an a type record that you need to add in your uh, domain settings in your dns settings so you can just log into your domain provider in my case it's godaddy uh, and go to your dns record click on add and you need to add an a type record the name is going to be um, resume i'll just type in here and the value is going to be the ip address uh, that showcase gives you the TTL you can just put it as half an hour and just click on add record so it's going to take some time for the DNS changes to be propagated so I don't know it may take like 10 to 15 minutes or it may take one whole day for the changes to propagate so I guess you can just uh, wait and just keep refreshing to see the status so once all these three um, turn green it means that your showcase front page is connected to your own domain all right so check this out after about like five minutes you can see all the three statuses are green and if i go to resume.tejaswarup.com here is my front page created on showcase so whatever changes i made on showcase will reflect here which is an awesome way of you know updating your profile whenever you want it. you know you just have to go to your showcase dashboard go to your settings and just update your profile so if you come to the home page of showcase you can see different posts made by different people on showcase and you can literally share everything over here you can share images videos and even code blocks like this so for example if you have a doubt that you want to get clarified you can just post it you can add the necessary code blocks to it and all that stuff you can post it on showcase and people will be able to respond to it not only that you can also like post polls and gather opinions from different kinds of people on showcase and do various other stuff so it's basically like a social networking platform but for techies and developers and one awesome feature of showcase that i love being a content creator is something known as shows so you can go to showcase.com shows and here you will find lots of tech related content lots of educational resources so you can see these are some of the recommended blog posts for me so if you're like me and you love to read blog posts or watch videos related to you know technical stuff then this is a great place to hang out like this is a great place to find awesome content awesome tech content to improve your knowledge you can also post your own content on showcase as well so all you have to do is just click on this plus icon over here and click on new show and you can choose the type of content that you're willing to post it can be a blog it can be a podcast video a product or just a repository an open source repository that you have created which you think might help other developers whatever it is all right so check this out i've written a piece of content about the basics of computer architecture that i wanted to share on showcase so this is 
the article that I've written. So I can also configure the settings of my blog post by clicking on settings here. And I'll choose this as public so that everyone on Showcase can view my blog post. I can also set the tags and check this out. I also get to choose the SEO title. So if my blog post is to appear in search results, for example, in Google search results, I also get to choose the SEO title here. So I'll click on publish show here. And I also get to choose the option where I can schedule this uh, to publish later, but I'll just publish it now. Click on show and your show has been published. So if I go back, to my profile and if I go to shows here you can see it also shows up on my profile and the same thing even shows up on my front page if I go to resume.tejasorob.com there's a tab that says shows if I click on it you can see it shows up there as well which is awesome right so yeah it's an awesome way of sharing your content the information that you have the knowledge that you have with the world and likewise you can also read others shows and gain knowledge from them talking about learning opportunities there is another feature in showcase that i would like to show to you so there is something known as communities on showcase so if you go to communities here you will see different types or different categories of developer communities available on showcase so for example you can see there is one for Hacker News, one for Dev Resources, Web Developers, Open Source Developers, 100 Days of Code, etc, etc. So if you're looking to narrow your search and looking for like-minded people who are also interested in the same things as you are, you can just come over to your communities over here. And for example, if you're interested in, let's say, React.js, there is a community for React.js on Showcase. So you can just go ahead and join the community and by joining the community you are also subscribed to all the posts that are made in this community and you also get to interact with the people who are already part of this community which is awesome there are going to be people who are really experienced in react js for example and you can get help directly from them so you might be thinking what if you don't find your particular community on showcase what if it doesn't exist yet well that doesn't mean you should just give up because you can actually create your own community if it doesn't already exist on Showcase. So you can just go ahead, click on create again, click on new community this time, and you can just create your own community. You can select the category, you can choose the name for your community, a profile pic, a cover pic, everything, and you can be the admin of this new community and you can handle the community as you like. So the point here is that if you're looking for learning opportunities while you're also searching for a job, then Showcase actually does a wonderful job. It has already revolutionized the way you are looking at resumes right now by introducing Resume 2.0. And it has lots of other features that can help you as a developer to progress in your career and also to land jobs in your dream company. So yeah, that's about Showcase, the network built for developers where developers can interact with each other and also get hired into their dream jobs so go ahead connect with me on showcase as well i leave the link to my showcase profile in the description below or also on the screen right now so go check it out and create your own resume 2.0 and your front page to the tech community there that's it for this video thanks for watching i hope you liked it if you did please do not forget to leave a thumbs up below and also leave a comment in the comment section i'll see you in the next video until then cheers